My dog is deaf. So if you hear him crying, that's why. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Tori and today I have my rolling minimalistic project pan update 8, I think. I did my last update very weird because I rushed, not rushed, but I had to pre-film and upload it ahead of time before the end of the month. So I had products that I knew I was going to use up, so I like integrated them in and told you guys about them, but I'm just going to go through everything. So, so far in this project, I've used up a total of 21 products. So, number one spot. No, numero uno. It was the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I finished that up, so then I replaced it with the Cover FX Mini Loose Setting Powder and Translucent, and I finished that up. So, I replaced it with this, and this is the Physician's Formula Argan Wear Ultra Nourishing Argan Oil Powder and Translucent. I use this as a face powder because it's like tan for me because I'm so pear, pale, but I actually have pan in it. Um... I didn't think I was going to have pan, especially not this quickly. This, for me, I was using as a bronzer because how white I am. And then I started getting tan for once this year and I was like, yo, I could just use this all over my face. And I kind of needed to because I didn't really have any other powder. So that's what I've been using this for. And I really like it. So hopefully it does continue to last me till I'm tan. I mean, until my tan goes away, if I worded that correctly. I don't know. Next is the NYX Pot Concealer. So, I haven't been reaching for this much. Um, I do put photos up, so that's why I feel like shitty. I'm sorry. But I just started using this as a lid primer recently because I go through lid primers faster and I'm not really reaching for a concealer because I'm actually wearing foundation now and since it's summer I don't feel the need to wear a concealer if that makes sense. Um, so the next number was the LA Colors Eye Chunky Pencil, Chunky Eye Pencil, that's what it was called, in Champagne Frost. I finished that up. At the end it was getting really annoying. I couldn't really sharpen it anymore and the wood that the pencil was made of made it even harder to sharpen. So I replaced it with the Lorac Mini Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I've been kind of using, using this off and on with the NYX Pot Concealer. Um, I just needed something to fill this category because I did want to keep an eye category open. But like now I have like four other pans going on. So like this is just like a filler product that I tend to reach for so I figured why not. I'm not really worried about that one, don't really care for the progress of it. Next product, in the last update I said my NARS orgasm was finishing. I finished it and I replaced it with the Tarte Exposed Blush. Um, I have not been focusing on this blush. I still do like it. I hate the fact that it gets hard pan this bad, but I know I'm not the only one. Shout out to my people on my IG, on my panning account. Follow it so we can talk about makeup because I go there first before I come on here. Um, so I haven't been using this much because I'm panning another Tarte blush. And like when I'm done that, I am going to reach for this more. But like this just... I feel like I have like a love-hate relationship with this because of how much hard pan it gets. I get really annoyed and irritated but and I look at it because I'm like, all those dig marks were with me with a makeup spatula because I was like, I gotta, I need to do something. Oh, FYI, this is not a permanent background. There's going to be three backgrounds that I'm going to be filming in front of and this is like halfway there. This isn't going to be here. This is all going to be somewhere else, so you'll see eventually, and by the time this video goes up, it should be at my house. So next is the Tarte Exposed Highlighter. I kind of didn't put them in here on purpose. This is, this has been in the pan since the beginning. My Tarte, not my Tarte, but like, in general, I'm just starting to pull in everything that's the oldest in my collection. And so my angle most likely changed. Sorry about that, my card is acting really weird and won't let me delete old footage, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it. So, Tarte Highlighter, haven't used it much. I've been focusing on another highlighter because like I stated in previous ones, 
but this one's really chunky and like not my thing so I feel like once it gets more into like winter time I will pick this up again because I'm not favoring it right now next is the elf eyebrow kit in light brown i'm only working on the pan i mean the pan no shit i'm only working on the powder shade so i make steady progress with this product i think i've stated multiple times i'm not worried about my eyebrow collection i just wanted to get more use out of it so the next thing is the smashbox full exposure like the mini travel palette so this is what it looks like recap i finished the cream shade i finished the tan shade because I literally had like nothing left in it and then it fell in the trash and I was not picking that up. Um, and then I've made more of an indent in the nude shimmer and more of an indent in the white shade. Um, the gr matte gray and the matte brown still look brand new because every time I try to reach in them, there's just so much hard pan that it's not even like, the looks aren't even good. So like, I gotta do something with them. And then the brown shimmer has a big dent, and the gray one I think I've used once. I don't tend to reach for the gray, but I'm getting use out of it. I might end up depotting it, and I know someone's going to be like, dude, the packaging's so small. But like, dude, I don't reach for it, so I need to do something with it, because I'm not going to declutter it yet. Okay, now next was the Rimmel Scandalized Mascara, and I finished that up. So now I picked the W7 Absolute Lashes. I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for the benefit. They're real mascara. And I'm not worried about mascara because I wear it every single day. Next, my favorite little things in the world. No updates. No changes, though. This is the Milk Mini Lipstick in Gnarly. I tried so hard to finish it before this update, and I just couldn't. If it's not done by next update, mental breakdown on camera. I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> I want this gone because it's really old. I've been looking at my purchase dates recently, and stuff gotta get out. Like, next is the uh, Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin Bullet. It's actually what I'm wearing today. I've been making steady progress with it. I'm not worried about this little bud. Next is the L'Oreal 444 Tropical Coral. Also not worried about this because I'll tend to put it on at night before I go to bed. Nice little tint of color. Next is the NYX Lip Lingerie and Embellishment. I put this in because I had a feeling that this was gonna run out like that's nyx is like the brand that i go through the most so next is the uh, studio a aoa studio wonder skin poreless primer i don't really have an accurate measurement of this because i store it on its side i haven't been wearing primer a lot but i'm going to start reaching for it because i kind of forgot it was in a project and now it's raining again can it stop raining thanks and the next thing is the Too Faced Mini Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I have not been reaching for it. I'm trying to pan another bronzer right now. And the last thing is the Jordana Jet Black Eyeliner. This is how much I have left of it. I'm so proud of myself. Um, kind of wanted to be done before this update. But I'm content with the progress. It will definitely be done by next month. If it's not, then like, what am I doing? But yeah... So that is my update. I've been I've been really enjoying project panning. I've like fully fully like I'm confident with it and committed and like I'm pretty sure that can kind of tell on my videos how like enthusiastic and comfortable and I am with it and I so the camera did ass just a card full and instead of you know like trying to empty the card again we're just gonna switch to iPhone clip so. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. If you enjoyed this project update, and if you enjoy panning, don't forget to subscribe. And comment down below if you're doing a yearly pan. And we'll talk in the comments and chat. And yeah, peace out, Girl Scout.